Science for Quarter 2, Week 7 Milk Base Let's learn about Interactions among living things in their environment Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like And share and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back, kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about interactions among living things in their environment. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe some types of beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. Living things interact in the environment based on their functions and roles. In the previous lesson, you learn about how organisms relate to one another and how abiotic components control these relationships. Interactions from one organism may bring either good and bad effects. There are interactions that both organisms benefit from, meaning they help each other to live. There are also forms of interaction that only one organism is benefiting while other has never been affected neither beneficially nor harmfully. There are some types of interactions among living things. The first one is mutualism. It is an interaction of two organisms wherein both are getting benefits from each other. The best example is plants and animals in general. Plants give off oxygen needed by animals while animals exhale carbon dioxide needed by plants. Here are mutualism examples like clownfish and sea anemone. The sea anemone protects the clownfish and the clownfish brings food back to the sea anemone. Another one is bee and flower. Both are being benefited because the bee is getting honey for it and it is also spreading pollen to create more flowers. Another one is Ants and Apids Apids provide food and ants provide safety transportation of food. And another is Butterfly and Flower Butterfly rely on the flower for a food source. The flower benefits because the butterfly picks up pollen and transport it to another flower. This aids in the reproduction of the plant. So both are getting benefits from each other. The next one is commensalism. This is an interaction between organisms in which one is benefiting while the other has never been affected neither beneficially nor harmfully. The best example is the relationship between the orchid and the tree. The orchid is the only one being benefited from the tree. Here are commensalism examples like cattle aigrettes and buffalo. Cattle aigrette eat the insects is stirred up by cattle disturbed by grazing livestock. Another one is tree frog and plants. Tree frog use plants as protection. Another one is jackal and tiger. Jackal once they have been expelled from a pack will train a tiger to feed on the remains of its skills. And next is barnacles and whale. The barnacles get a shelter by attaching on the whale's body without generally harming or benefiting the whale. So one is benefiting while other has never been affected neither beneficially nor harmfully. Another is predation. A type of interaction where one benefits while the other one is harmed badly affected. 
The one that usually benefits is called predator. The predator in the given pictures are jaguar and cat. While the one being harmed is called the prey. The prey in these pictures are deer and the mouse. They are the one being harmed. Here are predation examples like lion and zebra, bear and fish, snake and frog, wolf and rabbit. One benefits like the lion, bear, snake, and the wolf, while the other one is harm badly affected. The preys are zebra, frog, fish, and rabbit. And the predators are lion, snake, bear, and wolf. The next is parasitism. A type of interaction is when organisms like parasite benefits and harms its host organism. In the given picture, the one that harm is the dog. Parasites are the small organisms that live outside or inside the host organism that is harm. Here are internal parasites examples like whipworm, giardia, coccidia, roundworm, hookworm, and tapeworm. Here are external parasites examples like flea, louse, and tick. And now let's do learning task 1. Fill in the table below. Choose the words from the box. In the first column, we have predator, and in the second column, we have prey. Now, we will choose inside the box those animals that are predator and prey. So the predator is lion, and the prey is the cow. Next, bird is the predator, and the prey is the earthworm. Next, Shark is the predator, and the prey is the fish. Next, snake is the predator, and the prey is the mouse. Next, octopus is the predator, and the prey is the shrimp. And the last one, the predator is the frog, and the prey is the grasshopper. Learning Task 2 Examine the pictures below. Answer the guide questions on your notebook. The parasite in the picture A is the head lice. In picture B, the parasites are the different kinds of worm. In picture A is an example of external parasite. In picture B are the examples of internal parasites. Now, let's answer the question. Number 1. What is the type of interaction that exists between these organisms? Very good! The type of interaction that exists between these organisms is parasitism. Number 2. What organisms are involved? Very good! The organisms involved in picture A are lice and human. In picture B are parasitic worms and human. Number 3. Which organism benefited from the interaction? Correct! In picture A are head lice. In picture B are parasitic worms. Number 4. Which organism harmed from the interaction? Correct! The organisms harmed by interaction are humans. Now, let's move to learning task 3. Examine the pictures below. Tell the name of the organisms. Write the relationships that exist between each organism. Answer the guide questions on your notebook. So we have four given pictures in here. In the first column, we will write the two organisms in the given pictures. And in the second column, we will write the relationship of both organisms. So let's start. First picture, the organisms are flower and bee. 
Their relationship is mutualism. Second picture. The organisms are fish and seaweed. Their relationship is commensalism. Third picture. The organisms are orchids and tree. Their relationship is commensalism. And for the last picture, the organisms are bird and tree. The relationship is commensalism. For the first question, which of the organisms below show beneficial interaction? Correct! All the given pictures show beneficial relationship. Second question. When do we say that an interaction or relationship is beneficial? Very good! Interaction is beneficial if both organisms are benefited and no organisms harm. Third question. Which of the organisms are not benefited nor harm? Correct! The organisms that are not benefited nor harm are trees and seaweeds. Remember, interactions from one organism may bring either good and bad effects. There are interactions that both organisms benefited from, meaning they help each other to live. There are also forms of interaction that only one organism is benefiting while other has never been affected neither beneficially nor harmfully. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!